Our movie starts with our main character, Alice, walking down the school hallway. Meanwhile, a pregnant teacher goes around penalizing people for improper dressing or conduct. When she gets to Alice, she asks her to be the gift bearer again for Catholic Mass. Next, she's in a education class where she's told that masturbating is a sin and God is always watching for deviant behavior. She later meets up with a friend, Laura, and asks if she knew that masturbation was a sin, to which she says yes. When she gets home, she eats and feeds her dog, then logs into a chat room. She joins a trivia where she gets an email from one of the participants. He sends her nude pictures of himself and his wife, which she immediately closes but slowly reopens. They inquire about her age, intercourse, and location which she supplies. Then they ask for a picture, but she sends a picture of her classmate. They begin engaging in online intimate conversations, sparking her curiosity and discomfort, and she starts to touch herself until her mom calls her up. In the next scene, she prays at church, asking for forgiveness. She meets up with friends the next morning where she's accused of putting out for a boy she has a crush on Wade, which she denies. At the cafe, they meet up with another girl, Beth. She repeats the rumors of Alice and Wade, which Alice again denies since he has a girlfriend, Heather. Beth tells them that she heard she tossed his salad. Laura notices some changes in Beth's behavior, which Beth credits a student retreat program for. As Alice goes for some milk, she is confronted by Heather and Wade who find her disgusting. Later at Mass, she's prevented from being a gift bearer because of the same rumor. During confession, she recounts her sins but forgets to mention touching herself. She then goes to the pews and prays fervently for penance. She and Laura decide to go for a Christian retreat Beth spoke of with her classmates. There she meets a hot guy named Chris, who is the school's football star. She is taken to a shared cabin and welcomed by a girl named Nina. Nina later comes in to retrieve Alice's phone and watch, but Alice only turns up the watch. They're later shared into groups, and Alice finds out she's in the same group as Chris. They are handed papers where they were to circle whatever emotion they recently felt. She circles turn on amongst others, but tries and fails to erase it. Later, she meets Chris at the cafe, and they make some small talk about sour cream. At the retreat, Nina laments about being ignored by her parents. She is then hugged by Chris and the other students. Alice uses her phone later at night. She puts on a vibration mode to stay quiet, but starts to like the feel of the vibration on her body, and she slides it under her underwear. The next day, they listen to some music at the retreat, and Chris holds Alice, lowering his hand down her back unnoticed. As they walk through the woods, Laura tries to talk to Alice, but she's distracted with Chris, who picks up a girl who had fallen. She falls too, sustaining a small wound. Chris then picks her up and takes her to the nurse, much to her pleasure. Back at the cabin, Nina comes to fetch Alice for a group photo. She finds Alice using her phone and is upset about it, reporting her to Father Murphy. While taking the group photo, Alice is again teased about the Wade salad tossing event. Alice is accosted by Father Murphy for using her phone and is punished with some cafeteria labor. While cleaning, she goes into Father Murphy's office and uses his computer. She logs onto the forum and finally asks what tossing a salad means. She's then contacted by someone who tries to instigate online intimate by answering her question, but never really says what it means. She hears footsteps and turns off the computer abruptly. She meets Nina outside who offers her a snack and tells her she's not upset about the phone use. Letters are read to them from their parents and Alice gets a heartfelt letter from her dad. Later, the group shared their emotional difficulties. One spoke about a breakup, another about a dead grandma. Alice makes up a story about a dead dog, hoping to get some sympathy, but Chris hugs the girl with the dead grandma instead. At the cafe, Father Murphy comes in upset, complaining of the explicit chat he found on his computer. He asks the perpetrator to confess, but no one comes forward. He says God is watching all of them and leaves. At a counseling session with Alice later, he brings up her turned on tick at the start of the retreat. He asked her if she had been turned on to which she agreed, but she says she has never acted on it. He asks about the Wade rumor, and she says it was completely made up, although he doesn't believe her. Later, she goes to pick wood with Chris and spots Wade looking at her angrily. At the cafe, Nina is excused by one of the seniors for an impromptu meeting, and Alice confronts Wade. He accuses her of starting a rumor and ruining his relationship, but she says she didn't and suspects him because he never denies it to others. Before he can respond, Father Murphy comes and takes him away. She noticed Wade left his couple's bracelet in the trash can and kept it. While continuing her cleaning punishment, she spots Nina outside with the senior making out and giving him a blowjob. While she watches, she uses the broom to masturbate until interrupted by the Reverend Sister, who runs the cafe. 
She leaves to tell her friend about the Nina incident, but her friend calls her an impulsive liar, reminding her of the dead dog and some sixth grade lies, and tells her off. When she goes back to cleaning, she notices Father Murphy's office unoccupied and uses the chance to plant Wade's bracelet there. However, Father Murphy comes in shortly after and she's forced to hide. As she waits, she notices him watching adult movies. In it was a woman with a pink bra riding a man over a graffiti-painted car. Father Murphy starts to pleasure himself. Shocked, Alice stalks away from the cafe but is noticed by Chris. Noticing her look, he asks her if she wants to talk. She touches his hand and then jumps on him. They start making out, but Chris notices his erection and runs away in shame. Later, while the whole group was having fireplace hymns, Alice walked off and kept walking till she got to a lesbian bar nearby. She goes in and asks for a drink. The waitress saw she was clearly underage, but the owner of the bar nearby let her get a drink. She then asks if she's from the Catholic youth retreat. Alice lies that she's 21 but her sweatshirt gives her away. They talk about church, and the owner tells her she used to be Catholic and always thought she was going to hell. Alice tells her she always feels like she's going to hell too, especially because of the titanic car love scene she keeps watching and for having online intimate. The bar owner tells her to not think about it too much and that everyone is trying to figure out their stuff. She takes her back to the Catholic camp and tells her to consider going to college away from the state, preferably the east or west coast. Before she leaves, she asks the bar owner what tossing the salad means. She laughs and tells her it means to lick someone's butthole, which Alice finds hilarious. Back at the cafe, Alice sits with a strange new girl instead of Nina or her friend. They bond immediately, talking about cats, Japan, and sushi. Meanwhile, Father Murphy comes in and excuses Wade from the cafe. Later, her friend comes up to apologize for her outburst, since it has been decided that Wade was the one who used Father Murphy's laptop for the intimate chat. It was also implied that Wade was actually gay due to the content of the chat. Alice says he has a girlfriend, but Julia says it's just a cover-up. Wade and Father Murphy come in later, and Wade is forced to admit his guilt to the whole group. He says he gave in to temptation and let himself lose control, but he seems bullied into it. Alice takes the podium after, decrying the rumors, judgment, and meanness of the group, and telling them they're all trying to figure things out and should be more graceful to each other. After the retreat, she asks her dad if he has ever had sushi, to which he laughs and says no. She then asks them to pilk up at church with once she's off to college. He says it won't be a problem since she's not going far away and can come on weekends. Alice smiles, but when she goes home, she looks up East and West Coast colleges. Later at school, she notices Chris walking towards her. When he spots her, he tries to go elsewhere to escape, but she confronts him and apologizes for kissing him, telling him not to be scared. She says it won't happen again, and they agree to be friends. She asks for a hug, but they settle on a side hug. At the next confession with Father Murphy, she confesses that she had accidentally watched adult movies over the retreat. In the video was a woman in a pink bra and a man, and they had intimate over a graffiti-painted car. Father Murphy realizes that she was talking about his video and is visibly uncomfortable. He gives her a penance, but she doesn't pay attention and just leaves the church. On getting home, she turns on Titanic and goes to the car scene. She then starts to touch herself. She notices a vibrating toy nearby and uses it instead, much to her pleasure. And that's it for this movie recap. Have you ever had a rumor about you like Alice did? How would you navigate that? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, we're sure you'll enjoy the next one. Click now to watch.